Hi, my name is Jared and uh, welcome to another video. Today, what we're going to, to discuss or we're going to share to you is how we gain wisdom or how wisdom gain. Okay, so first is we gain wisdom through gathering informations by reading the books, attending uh, seminars, uh, watching video trainings those you those informations you gather and by that information you are going to specify it you're going to conclude it and specify it yan ang knowledge so that from that knowledge you are going to apply it to real life okay apply mo it kung natutunan mo apply it to real life para malaman mo kung correct ba yung uh, natutunan mo. Nag-gathered mo na, na information, then uh, na knowledge yung nag-gathered mo. So, you apply it there, then uh, nagkaroon ka ng result, nagkaroon ka ng feedback, nagkaroon ka ng experience na mas natutunan mo siya, mas mas nalaman mo na ito pala, ito palang knowledge na natutunan ko, uh, may mga mali din pala. So, you have to remove those mga mali and correct them and that is wisdom. Diyan ka naka-develop ng wisdom through the process of uh, first information, then the knowledge you get from the information, and then by applying it to real life, you gain experience, you learn, natututo ka, mas nalaman mo siya, then you get that wisdom. Mas na-specify mo siya so, mas alam mo na ngayon ko nung ano ang dapat mong gawin. So, so, that is the first thing and how you're going to know to how to gain wisdom. Second, uh, by developing yourself. Okay? Second is, you should have a mentor. A mentor is someone that is already there na... Yeah, he has been successful uh, doing it. Okay? He specialized siya sa, uh, in something na successful siya. Like for example, if you want to, to start investing or knowing, if you want to know more about real estate business, so dapat ang mentor mo is uh, specific at saka successful siya about uh, real estate. So, matagal, matagal na ginagawa yun and uh, successful siya. So, you can have a mentor. So, be careful on choosing your mentors. Ang gusto mo sa paper assets like stocks, bonds, digital funds, etc. Um, dapat magkaroon ka na isang mentor na uh, successful na din. Nandoon na siya. Okay? Because you want to save your time. At saka in business. The same is true in business. Uh, there's a lot of business. And uh, kung anong business na gusto mong itayo sa lugar mo. So, dapat mayroon kang mentor din uh, na mag may mayroong business na pareho sa gusto mo. So, actually, um, there are fast track and uh, there are um, slow track. Kung slow track, you have to develop yourself and you should learn and learn and learn, learn something from it and apply and gain the wisdom that you want. But if you want to have a, a fast track, gusto mo matuto kasi ano ka na, uh, you are behind. So, you should have the mentor, a specific mentor na tutulong sa'yo. So, sometimes uh, you, you have to attend the cor his uh, courses, his training or Eh, mga ganyan kasi, kasi mahirap kasi kuku, mahirap kasi magkaroon ng wisdom mahirap, mahirap mag-gain ng wisdom kung gusto mo i-develop yourself oh, you, you can develop yourself so, uh, kailangan mong tiyagayin and uh, or, or else you have to invest magkaroon ka ng mentor to save your time so, that's it no, I hope na marami kayo natutunan, I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo, and uh, if you like uh, the video, just uh, click the link or subscribe it so that we will be able to see uh, next time ulit, in the next video see you in the next video, and uh, thank you for your time, and God bless you friends see you